Okay, welcome to if statements. Wow, so exciting. Okay, so I just wrote this code, but it broke because I forgot to put the parentheses in dot lower, and then I forgot I need to input string input. So that's great. Uh, so I had to fix that. So code's already here. Great. Okay, let's go over it. So we have a function called one. We have a function called two. Function called three. They print their respective names, right? Nothing crazy. Print three, print blah, 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 blah. And now what we have is input underscore raw. I'm going to change that because underscore raw, I believe, is what was used in two. So I think that's kind of confusing. Underscore six, right? Okay, cool. And so what that basically does is it asks for um, the user data, right? The user replies one, two, or three. And then what they can do is choose to print one, two, or three, right? Okay. And so first one is asking dot lower. That is basically if they type in all caps, doesn't matter. Okay. So that now we're what we're learning, right? Okay. So we have if input underscore six equals this crap, right? So if it equals one, if this string that this user inputted is equal to one, print run one, right? And then if they chose the num numerical one, do the same thing, right? Because it's converted to a string. It's not going to interpret as a float or any of this madness, right? Okay, cool. But so the problem that I've had before when I was learning Python is I did not understand that I had to um, that I had to restate my statement, right? I thought that it was just if input 6 equals 1 or 1. No, you have to restate your variable equals 1. Okay? You can't just have equals 1 again. You have to restate your variable and then have it again. Makes sense, right? Okay. And then else if is basically another if statement, except it's one stage down. If input 6 equals 2, if input 6 equals 3, it's basically just going one by one by one by one by one. If you stall my uh, accept, try, blah, 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 you'll see that it's like, do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. Do you have it? No. And then finally, nobody has it, throws it down to the else statement, not a valid input. So if you have an error, if you put in some weird Unicode and it doesn't figure out, I don't know, whatever the issue is, it's going to print not a valid input, and it's going to run ask again, ask is this, it's going to tell you not a valid input, one, two, or three, right? Okay, pretty simple, not super complex, but is super important, and actually, what we want to do is uh, demonstrate the and, so what we're going to do is we're going to have input underscore five equals string input uh, one two three and we don't need to lower it cool because it's already numbers but we can still do that I don't care right okay uh so and input five right and instead of or we want an and but basically and is saying is do both of these equal each other right do both of these make sense Makes from eh, makes sense, right? It's basically an or statement, except both ha both ors have to meet, right? Not crazy. Okay, so let's try that. That should work. So we're on this three, three, and you chose three. Cool. But you'll notice that if we type in three, th three. It gets mad, right? Okay. So if you're trying to do some sort of thing with that, that see right there. I don't know. I, I freaked out because I thought there was an error, but there's not. So yeah, and or two basics or one or the other and both. Uh, else if basically next if if that if this one isn't are you are you are you? It is going to be in order though like a ladder. Imagine the top rung is if, and then climb down one, and then climb down one, and then climb down, so it's the first to be met, and it's going to run that. It isn't going to be like input 6 equals 2, and then input 3, and then not a valid input. It's just one of them. First one it meets, and then it runs 3, and then it carries it over to 3, does what 3 says. It's not going to run, if I somehow typed 2, 3, and 1, it's not going to run 1, 2, and 3. Okay, so yeah, that's important as well. There are other things that you can do, but that is in this video. I hope you found this useful. Basics of this statement. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will attempt to uh, answer your questions if I can. If it
for some reason a million people watch my video might not be able to but thank you for watching I hope this was useful make sure you understand this because this is very important it's going to help you in a lot of stuff and it's great for like functions and airheading thanks so much bye